Vakaras įsiems susirinkusiems, turbūt pristatyti žmonių sėdinį šešalę nereikia, bet Eurolygos vadovas Kaunas Jordi Bertomėjo ir Kauno Žalgirio prezidentas Kaunas Arvidas Abonis. Pradėsime nuo kalbų, o po to žurnalistam reisim ilgo klausimus. Good evening, good afternoon, good bench. So I'd like to thank for coming. It's a, it's a real pleasure for us to, to have the opportunity to come to Lithuania, where we feel that this is a unique basketball country. Labas vakaras visiems. Mums didžiulė garbė ir malonumas atvažiuoti į Lietuvą, šalį, kurioje, kurioje yra unikali krepšinio prasme. And yesterday uh, we had the opportunity to attend the game in, in Vilnius, and uh, today here in Kaunas and yesterday we also had the opportunity to meet the, the president <coughs> and the prime minister and you, I want to say that you are very lucky because to have uh, the authorities committed with, uh, with our game I think it's uh, something uh, very, very good for our sport. Šiandien vėl galime būti rungtynės ir šiandien, taip pat vakar buvome susitikęs su šalies prezidentu, tai ministru pirmininku. Todėl noriu pasakyti, kad jūs esate labai laimingi, kad gaunate tokį dėmesį ir tokį pripažinimą krepšinį. And today we are here in Kaunas with our club uh, Zaldiris. You know that uh, for us Zaldiris is a very special club. It's like a, like a flat in Lithuania, like the Euroleague flat because has been with uh, with us has been member from the foundation of the Euroleague so for us uh, to come to Kaunas it's always a great opportunity to meet one of the most important club in our organizations Dabar esame Kaune su Kauno Žalgiriu norime pasakyti kad Žalgiris yra tarsi Euroleague būsinė Lietuvoje ir džiugu kad kad jisai yra kartu su mumis tai yra klubas kuris I would, I would like to take advantage of this opportunity to point out that something that has been uh, has produced some misunderstandings, which is the fact that if Zaldiris is playing in the Euroleague since the very beginning, is just because the sport results. There is no other reason. So, according with the Euroleague rules the sport results decide who play who, who did not play the Euroleague. So we have enjoyed the, the Euroleague, the Zalgiris Kaunas participating in the Euroleague thanks their good sport results in the Lithuanian League and uh, I think that it's something that it's important to point out today. Tas, tas skaičiavimas vyksta pagal Eurolygo standartus ir tai yra vienintelė pražastis, kodėl Žalgiris yra visą laiką Eurolygoje. Tai yra dėl to, kad jis įrodo gerus rezultatus metai iš metų. But talking about the, the future of the Zalgiris in the Euroleague, you know that we have some concerns related to the fact of the, of the gym, the current gym, and the ones that have be, should be built in the future. Bet kalbant apie Žalgirio ateitį, mes esame susirūpinę to dalyku dėl to, kad dėl, dėl sporto salių, dėl kitos salės, kurie, kurie žaidžiama dabar, bei dėl būsimos arenos, kuri turėtų būti ar turėjo būti pastatyta. Euroleague is working and thinking in, in the implementation of some changes, some new rules, some new structure of the league beginning 2009-2010 season. And uh, in uh, at that season, this uh, the, the the issue about about the arena will be important to be solved in order to guarantee the Zaldiris participation in our in our competition. 
1900 metų sezono Eurolyga ruošia pakeitimų ir vienas iš jų susiję su arena. Tai Žalgiris lygiai taip pat turi turėti areną, kad jam būtų sudarytas visos sąlygos toliau žaisti Eurolygą. I want to say that after the meeting that today we had with the representatives of the municipality and with the members of the parliament, we, we are satisfied and we feel comfortable with the explanations that we receive, with the commitment that the authorities of Kaunas took with us and with Algeris in order to be sure that in, in this season 2009-2010 we will have the new arena ready and during this time this gym will be prepared or will be some reconstruction in order to, to improve a little bit the quality of this arena. Po šios dienos susitikimo su Kauno tarybos nariais bei vyriausybės nariais Seimo nariais esame šiek tiek ramesni dėl to, kaip jie yra atsidavę ir kokie yra jų paaiškinimai apie tai, kas daroma dėl busimos arenos ir dėl šitos arenos. Tikime ir tikimės, kad iki 2090 metų sezono nauja arena bus pastatyta ir šita arena bus pataisyta tiek, kad netitiktų minimalius Eurolygos reikalavimus. But today we are here also for another important aspect of the European basketball, which is the 50th anniversary of the creation of the, Euro the European clubs competition. And today we want to commemorate the, the victory of Algeris Kaunas in 1919. Uh, and also the unbelievable outstanding players that has been part of the history of this club. This 5th anniversary is a great opportunity for us to pay tribute to the many players, coaches, referees, managers, clubs, federations, all those who make the basketball uh, important as a, as a sport, a spectacular, as a show, and all those that allows us to, to enjoy the basketball as, as we are enjoying today. And I want to make an, make an special mention to FIBA because FIBA is the organization who deserves all our recognition because they had the vision to create this competition 50 years ago. So today we are running the league, so that's why we are uh, we have the responsibility to, to, to develop this, this program across the season, but it's just a coincidence. What we want is to pay tribute also FIBA uh, for their vision and for the idea and for, and, and for managing this competition for many, many years. Matė tokią viziją, kokia yra, kokia yra dabar ir nors mes dabar vykdome Eurolygos varžybas, aukščiausio lygio varžybas, mes vis tiek gerbėme juos už tai, ką jie pradėjo ir mūsų tai jų darbas mūsų įpareigojo toliau siekti, kad sezonas po sezono krepšinio sąlygos girėtų ir lygio sąlygos girėtų.